Well, in Mobile, a new attraction is coming. It's called Tram the Town. And our reporter, Ashlyn Nichols, is joining us to talk about this. Ashlyn, they say that it's something for tourists and locals. Lanise, Tram the Town is going to be for everyone. In fact, the owners tell me it's a family-friendly attraction they hope will take off. Paint, seat cushions, and cleaning products are spread out on a front yard in Midtown. It's the start of Tram the Town, historical tram tours being launched by co-owners Scott Tyndall and Jim Walker. Several trams are parked in the grass, and they all have a rich history dating back to the 1960s, from Universal Studios to the Dallas Cowboys. And this is actually the third lifetime for these trams. In between Universal Studios, they were used by the Dallas Cowboys uh, around their stadium to bring fans to the stadium. And so we're really excited to give these iconic vehicles a, a new life and put them on the road here in Mobile. You might remember the duck boats in Mobile, also founded by Tyndall. With the Ducks, we were really limited in scope and where we could operate and what we could do. And with these vehicles, we have far fewer limitations. There's definitely the same goal and vision, which is to create magical experiences for families, for friends. Many locals I spoke to said they think the tram tours are a good idea. One woman says she thinks the trams will help highlight what Mobile has to offer. We're in downtown right now. We have a lot of museums. We have a lot of historical homes. Mobile has a lot to offer. We just don't get the, I guess, the output that we deserve. Tyndall says he has big hopes for the trams, and it's more than just historical tours on his radar. Whether it's the Haunted Tour this fall, which will bring in all the elements of Haunted Mobile, or whether it's, you know, fun historical tours, or maybe it's karaoke, or maybe it's a private party with you and your friends and you want to go to a number of different breweries in town. We can make it as custom as we need to. Tyndall says he hopes to have the trams up and running by early October. For more information on those tours, you can visit that link on our website at fox10tv.com. Reporting live in Mobile this evening, Ashlyn Nichols, Fox 10 News.